This video will be a demonstration of how to use the BIOSIS database in order to find journal articles. The BIOSIS database is linked to from the Gerstein Science Information Center's webpage, with the Gerstein Science Information Center being the Science and Biology Library for the University. If you are off campus or at home, when you click on the link to BIOSIS, you'll be prompted to enter your UTOR ID and UTOR ID password which is the same authentication you use when you log into Blackboard, the portal, or your U of T webmail. If you are familiar with searching the Web of Science, you will see that the interface for BIOSIS is the same as that interface for the Web of Science. The difference between the two databases is that whereas the Web of Science indexes a whole range of sciences, from agriculture to chemistry to the physical sciences to zoology, BIOSIS just indexes journals in the biological sciences, so it can index many more biological journals than Web of Science, and it index, indexes them more in depth. So for any topic in biology, BIOSIS previews indexes thousands of biological journals. I am also going to be using the same example that I used in the Web of Science demo that of looking for journal articles which discuss why hawk moths have evolved such long tongues or proboscis. When searching for any species, whether it be an animal species or a plant species, it is always best to use both the common name as well as the Latin or genus name. So in this example I am writing hawk moth or sphingidae. And in the example, I am using the truncation symbol, which in this database is an asterisk at the end of hawk moth, in order to, so that the search engine will find hawk moth in the singular form, or hawk moths with an S at the end for the plural form, because different authors may have used uh, both. I'm also typing hawk moth as one word, a compound word, as well as two words, because I've seen it appear in the literature both ways. And just to reiterate, reiterate that words which are combined for the same concept, so hawk moth or sphingidae, are combined with or, because I want either hawk moth or sphingidae, I do not have to have both words in my results. And the same goes for my second concept, which is tongue or proboscis. I want either the first word or the second word, I don't have to have both in my results. But the different concepts, so concept 1, will be combined with concept 2 with the word and, because I want both those concepts, hawk moth and proboscis, in my results. And I'm just going to make sure for my second concept, the default in the drop down option box was author, I'm just going to change that to topic. And I'm searching these concepts and I obtain 44 results, which is um, more results than I received when I did the exact same search in the Web of Science. And again, that's because BIOSIS indexes more biology journals and it indexes them more in depth. So you can refine these results by major concepts or document types. Um, I'm interested in the evolution and adaptation aspect of this. So if I click on the box for evolution and adaptation under the major concepts heading on the left and click refine, I will refine my results from 40 some odd results down to 12. And the citations to the journal articles show up in the right hand side. And if I scroll down this to find one uh, of interest, and one catches my eye, Diversity and Evolution of Tongue Length in Hawk Moths, Sphingidae, by Miller, uh, by William Miller, and it's published in the Journal of the Lepidopterists Society, and it gives me the volume number, volume 51, issue 1, pages 9 to 31, so it's quite a long article, and it was published in 1997. Now, um, the reason this result did not come up in Web of Science is because the Web of Science 
it does index Journal of the Lepidopterists Society, but it only started indexing that journal in 2008. So it, that's why it did not find this 1997 article, whereas Biosis did. Just as I showed you in Web of Science, I clicked on I can click on the title in order to get to look at the abstract to see uh, get more information to see if I really want to go ahead and find the um, find the full text article. Because it's the same interface as Web of Science, it also has the citation data that we see in Web of Science. So this one, uh, this article, it was published in 1997. It's been cited by 10 other articles since it's been published. So it's another way of finding similar ar similar articles. So uh, if I wanted more articles on this topic, I could look at these 10 which, which have cited this one since it's been published. So those citing articles will be more recent than 1997. Or, um, yes, that's what I wanted to say. Now, if I wanted to see the full text article, if I click on Get It, UTL, I'll be taken to that page that we saw um, where it would link me to the article online. So here there's only one option, free e-journals. Now, in the best case scenario, when you click on the link, whatever shows up there on under the online tab, it will take you directly to the full text article, which is the example I showed in the Web of Science demonstration. Sometimes this is what happens. You aren't taken directly to the article level, so you need to know how to get to the exact article. So I was taken to the journal page, Journal of the Lepidopterists Society, and this is where I would need to note somehow the year the volume and the page numbers of the article. So when I go to this, I'm going to browse. So on the Lepidopterist Society journal page, I know the article was published in 1997. So I click on the 1990s. I click on 1997. I know the page of the article was page 9 to page 31. And here it is, page 9 to 31. Diversity and Evolution of Tongue Length in Hawk Moths by William E. Miller and it has connected me to this full text article. So that's an example of how to use Biosis to find journal articles and then how to connect to a full text article when you're not taken directly to the article level and you need to navigate by some further information whether it be the publication year, the volume, the page numbers, the title of the article and so on. Thank you very much.